This is the most lit restaurant in Waco. Oh, you like that man? Oh, you want to take it out there? Give me two for the pancake. Hey, what? What's up? Hey, I'm about to wash all y'all right now. Hey, get out of my face. Get out of my face. We in here. Oh, what? 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 Oh, Hello? Open sesame. I can see your front. Yeah? Does it look dope? It does. See in a second. Good morning, everybody. Check this out. Look at that. How sick is that, boy? That's freaking sick. Every day I get to look at that and just be like, dang. Jesus died for me. That's dope. He loves me. And he loves you, too. Sorry, I'm not buying anything today. Uh-oh. Hold on, let me take my AirPods off. That'd be bad. <coughs> Go! Got it. Oh, what the? Somebody's alarm is going off in their room. A fire alarm? <laughs> no, no, like their wake up alarm. Oh, really? Dang, bro, who's waking up at this hour? It's already 7.45, I've already been up for three hours, boy. No, wait, been up for four hours. I get up at four every day because, yeah, dude, I'm just excited to wake up and live another day to get things done. Zach came over for breakfast. We have breakfast here pretty often. We work out in the morning, then we come here, eat breakfast. We go to Aldi. These eggs at Aldi, 50 cents. So it's super cheap. Check out my map. Got my pins up. Are the places I've been slash lived. Um, I plan on going here in March, and then here in uh, the rest of my life. My goals, baby, 2020 goals, there it is. I got my goals up on the wall. I'm a very goal-oriented person. Part of the reason I get up every day at 4 a.m. is because I want to accomplish those goals. If you have goals that you want in your life, write them down, put them up, put them in a place that you can see them every single day to remind yourself to go after them every single day. Because if you just put goals in your head, you forget. If you write them down, that's good, but if you don't see them every day to remind yourself every day to go after those goals, it's not as efficient. Yep. You can use that if you want. Write them, put them on there. He made a video about that. Goals. It's a great way to keep yourself accountable. It is a great day to be alive. Enjoy the day. Take advantage of it. Y'all want to know the secret of the trade? That's how you get so much energy. It's actually a lie. You want to know where I get my energy from? Boom. Right here. Let's freaking go. The word of God. <laughs> this wall over here is just like, he gets his energy from taking pills and then and he's a very energetic person because he gets his energy from, and he takes vitamins. And no! Jesus. Jesus gives me energy. A lot of you probably won't understand. A lot of you are like, yo, Jesus is whack, but he's not. If you get to know him, the real Jesus, not just the Jesus that you've heard about or you've seen other people portray him at, but the real one, amazing. He gives me so much energy. Anyway, he loves you too. Jesus loves you. I love you. What's up? Breakfast is served, baby. If you've ever wondered how I get the shots that I get in my videos, sometimes it's like really extra. <laughs> and it doesn't always go as planned. I'm surprised we have eggs left to eat. What's up? Oh, no! Shoot! No! Ah! I dropped my eggs. Oh, dang it. I thought all the eggs were already cracked. <laughs> Dang it, man. I am really failing today at this, at this scene. Oh, man. Dang it. We're gonna have like no eggs by the time this is over. <laughs> breakfast is definitely my favorite meal of the day. And breakfast burritos are my favorite. I can eat them every day. Every day of my life. I'm gonna add in that clip where the that guy goes, breakfast! From what? You know what I'm talking about? No. I'll have to look it up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes? The drum comes in tomorrow. Can't believe I turned the machine off for that. The dumpster's open, but I this gate's locked. You think I make it in? Well, let's see. <laughs> Bye, Miguel! 
Muchas gracias por todo. Okay. <laughs> That's Miguel. Miguel is our maintenance guy. He is a great man. Really nice. Just an awesome guy, you know? A lot of times people just complain when things don't go their way. Something's wrong in their apartment and all they do is just like, <laughs> and it's just like, bro, things happen, life happens. Like something bad happens, don't just complain about it. There's one dude who's doing maintenance for the whole building. He's got a lot of things to do, just chill and let him get the things done that needs to get done. Shout out to Miguel for just always being around and taking care of those things. If no one says thank you to you, I'm saying thank you. Gracias por todo. All right, I need some coffee. World Cup, Dub C's, baby, we here. See you, bro, thanks for the ride. You're welcome. Peace. Joy, what's up? What's up, bro? What it do, kitchen crew? What's up, Jen? Another day in the kitchen. Henry, What's what you got on? for us today, man? I was inspiring people. All right, man. Stay positive no matter what. Keep your best foot forward. 100. God is good, y'all. That's it. Inspire for the rest of my life right there. <laughs> How's it going? Good. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Soy fantastico. Gracias. Dubsies, baby. Another day. I didn't have a lot of dishes today, which is really nice. Came in, just my spirits were really high today. Especially high today. I don't know why. The sun's not out. It's pretty overcast. So typically, moods are kind of down, but today I'm feeling really good. And I'm thankful for that. So, encouragement of the day. When you're feeling good about life and like things are just going well, Really, really enjoy that and be thankful for it. And when things aren't going very well, it's okay. Everybody has those days. Push through it, understand that life is like this. You're gonna go through ups and downs. And in those times of downs, try to really think about the good things in life. Think about the things that you can be thankful for even in those moments. Because those moments are the moments that you learn the most. So don't try to just like quickly pass over those tougher times. Enjoy them. Work is not always easy. That's why they call it work. But you can find little things that you can be thankful for every day. Like my man Henry said today. Stay positive no matter what. Keep your best foot forward. That's a good word, Henry. Thank you. Hey, there's nothing better than the sound of crackling bacon. Ooh. Ooh. Joy, how you doing today? I'm fine. <laughs> how you doing? Joy, you have a very fitting name. Yours is very joyful. Oh, thank you. I try to be. I can't think of a better environment to work in. I got people who are just happy all the time. Well, not all the time. Sometimes people have mental breakdowns. What y'all cooking for? But it's always fun and games here at Dub C's. We just got a bunch of people who are just thankful for life. And when you got a bunch of people who are thankful for life, you have a good time. Ain't no use in frowning, it don't help none. And we're too blessed to be stressed over here, right Henry? <laughs> Hashtag too best to be stressed. We're gonna start a movement. I'm gonna start asking everybody, hey, you stressed, bro? Uh, Why? I'm blessed. The weekend What's good, bro? Up. This is Dennis, everybody. Dennis, what do you actually do? All I ever see you do is come in here and get coffee. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Dennis works in the, in the building next door. This cafe is actually part of this whole organization called Mission Waco. And I will explain that as time goes on, but why don't you give us like a 10 second 10 seconds. version of what Mission Waco 10 is. 10 seconds. Mission Waco exists to uh, equip the under-resourced with new resources, mobilize uh, others to be more compassionately involved in the lives of the poor, and to reduce the suffering all over the world as a result of the social injustices uh, that affect the poor. For dummies like me, break it down, it's to help people. It's a big organization yeah. with a bunch of programs that helps people who maybe can't help themselves or maybe don't have the resources to do that themselves. And, and World Cup Cafe, aka Dub C's, <laughs> is kind of like the, the welcome to Mission Waco place, right? That is. It is, it, is a, it is a gateway into the Mission Waco family and work that we do. It is a place that you can come, hear more about our story and our impact, and be a part of our story so we can be a part of your story. Heck yeah. So people, you, when, if you come here, you'll see it's more 
more than the greatest cafe in the world. This is a, a place to really impact the lives of the community and the world. That's right. Go, baby. Right. D Dub, right? What is Dub C? D Dub. Bro, the junk. What the man, boy? If you don't get see this right here. This don't even phase me anymore. When I first started, I'd be like, shoot, that's a lot of dishes. But now it's like, huh, I'll let that chill for a sec because I could do that in like two minutes. Here's another life lesson for y'all. I like life lessons, so sorry. I'm not preaching at you. I'm just telling you what the things I've learned. When things are hard, they're not gonna always be hard. You get stronger and then that thing becomes easier. It's like chewing bubble gum, right? So you get a double bubble, bubble dub, double bubble, double, what is it? Bubble double. So you get one of those double bubble gu gums, this thing. All right, when you first start chewing that thing, that junk is hard as mess, and you gotta like really work at it and use your jaw. But after a while, after you continue to chew it, it becomes softer and becomes easier. It's the same with everything in life. Everything that you work on, it, it, it might start off really hard, but the more you do it, the better you get at it, and the more used to it you become, the stronger you get and the easier whatever it is that task becomes. So don't give up just because something is hard. Ooh. Get that pancake. Y'all know what time it is? Pancake time! Welcome, Cafe. Welcome, Cafe. So, Jennifer? Uh, yes, the breakfast tacos. Um, what meat would you like? Dang. She sounds so okay. much more white on the phone. It comes with, um, eggs, our breakfast potatoes, meat, and cheese. <laughs> okay, anything else? <laughs> Alright. That's what she always says. Bro, why, why do you? Because <laughs> <laughs> I have to have my customer service. Hi, welcome to World Cup Cafe. I have to do that. I can't really make fun of her though because my voice changes a lot too, depending on who, depending on who I speak to, and I can't help it. I totally understand, but that was really funny because that was the first, <laughs> the first time that she immediately went straight to shut up. I think she make it that sir. This is why I work out for two hours every day. So I can just eat whatever I want. I want to work out with you one day. Oh, yeah. let's go. I'd probably join it. Joy. Yeah. That's so good. Thank you so Joy, much. I give you the elbow. Give me that elbow. Boom. Enjoy making them fire pancakes. What up, bro? Hey. Or the uh, chicken fried steak sandwich. The homie Brandon is here. Let's go. How you doing, bro? I'm good. I'm good. What are you up to? I'm on my lunch break right now. Let's go, please. Gotcha. Henry is the man, the myth. Oh yeah? I don't know what she said. S I L A S. Oh, you got it? Yeah. And that's subscribe. Did you hit subscribers yet? Yeah. Let's go, that boy subscribe. He in there. Me and EJ in there now. Let's go, boy. You know what I love about Brendan? He, he's Asian. I love that he's Asian because I'm also Asian. People don't know that. Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> oh my god. Do we look like brothers? When you look straight at me, I don't look Asian. But if you notice when I laugh, I look more Asian. Let me try to laugh. Shannon, say something funny. <laughs> See how my eyes change a little bit? Other than that, apparently I look Mexican. What's that? Chicken fried steak sandwich. Chicken fried steak sandwich, boy. Put some ketchup on there. All right. I'm about to go get a popsicle over at Las Teca. This is Cat, by the way. Cat, AKA Space. I call her Space. So rude. It's not rude. It's just that she spaces out all the time, so I call her Space. <laughs> right across the street from Dub C's, we got Las Teca, and it is another Hispanic place. Not that Dub C's is Hispanic. I don't know why I said another. They got a crazy amount of different popsicles that you can try. They also have ice cream manganadas. <laughs> Is that funny? What you gonna get, Cat? Thai tea, probably. That's me too. They got avocado. Thai tea's gone. No, it's not, for real? No! Con uh, permiso. Tienes uh, popsicle de Thai tea in La Baca? Uh, let me check. Por favor. In, the, in La Baca of La, La Azteca. Come on, baby. Wait, no? no. Dang it. Maybe I should go with Oreo. What the heck is Gonzito? Con permiso. K is Gonzito. Gonzito is like a Mexican cake and it has it has pieces of cake, chocolate, strawberry, and banana. It's good? Yeah. What's your name by the way? Maria. Marie? Maria. Mucho gusto. Yo soy Silas. Y yo quiero aprender español. Bueno. <laughs> quiero 
Este. Con carte, por favor. Okay. Tarjeta. Tarjeta. Con tarjeta, por favor. So what's your YouTube channel? <laughs> Silas Nasita, dude. Everybody, when they read my name, pronounces it Silas Nasita because everyone, when they see me, think I'm Mexican. Like, did you think I was Mexican? No. That's pretty good. Is it really good or are you just being nice? It's not really good, but it's good. It's good. Oh, the sun came out. Let's freaking go, baby. Bye. Bye. I got my popsicle, Henry. What kind did you get? It's called Gonzito. Oh, I don't, nice. It's kind of funky. We got uh, some visitors at Dub C's right now. How's it going? What's up, buddy? What's your name? Jace. Jace? It's good to meet you. I'm Silas. I like your t shirt. I have a name for you. Thank you. Oh, so How you doing, Silas? I'm Beverly. Hi, Beverly. I'm Silas. Great I don't to meet know you. You've you inspired me. That, really? You totally have. That's I, awesome. I just found you on a or so. Okay. So, who's this? This is my grandson. Okay. I'm raising him. Fantastic. Yeah. And he was born, born in 2012. So. I believe that God totally brought this little angel in my heart and my life to keep me here. Because I apparently have a purpose. And I'm trying to figure that one out. You absolutely you have a purpose. You said yesterday on your video of talking about purpose. And I totally took that to heart and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta figure out my purpose. Yeah. You absolutely do. God God has made you very special and unique. I'm trying. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm God has a very special place for you and just your your love and care for Jace is amazing. And that is like something that is going to change his life forever. Well, I will let you get back to work because I don't want you to get in trouble. I want you to stay here. Yeah. No, Beverly, it's so, so good to meet you. Thanks for stopping by. God bless you. Jace, it's great to meet you, buddy. Maybe one day he can show you his skateboard. Oh, oh, yeah. Come on. Give me a hug, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, one day we'll go for a ride on the booster board, but oh, that would be cool. I got to get back to these dishes, so I'm not here all the rest of the night. Man, we got people coming in, man. Henry, you out here changing lives. So what's Look up? That's positivity. what we do. That's what we do, man. You got to stay positive every day. I'll tell you what, 42 years on earth, positive equals positive results. Look, everybody's going through things. Like, everybody goes through hard times. Everybody has to live life and do the grind of life. So you could either put your head down and stare at your feet all the time and just say, like, life sucks, it's too hard. Or you get your eyes up, stay focused, be positive, and just and, and realize that what an opportunity it is to live. Even if it's a hard time, what an opportunity it is to Keep even live. Pushing, Keep, on Keep on pushing, baby. Keep on pushing, baby. Freaking out here, dub seeds just changing uh. lives. Bro, we and Henry and Joy out here. Freaking dope, man! Yeah. Let's freaking yeah. go! Yeah. Let's go! Who let the dogs out? <laughs> this dish has got nothing on me, boy! <laughs> What's up? I'm about to wash all y'all right now. Get out of my face! Get out of my face! We in here! In Waco. Oh, I'm not gonna see you till Tuesday. Aww. Have a great weekend. Aww. You too. Love you. We love you too. Bye. Thank you. It's one big old family up in here. Oh, y'all out? Yeah. Thank you. Sure? Heck yeah. Y'all have a great, blessed weekend. All right. Love you. Love you too. We'll see you on Tuesday. Hey, y'all stressed? Never. No. Why? Because it's too blessed to be stressed. What up, dog? Bro, most lit day at work. 
ever. You seem super excited. Bro, today was a freaking epic day. I freaking love these people.